So how do you know if your filament's bad? Well, generally what will happen is you'll take your filament off the spool, and if you apply torque, it'll start to shatter. It shouldn't break this easily. The PLA is brittle, but it shouldn't snap constantly. And you'll find that when you're auto-feeding off of a spool, whether it's deep or shallow, that extra torque is what causes your print to fail mid-print. So generally, when you have good PLA, it's not going to break immediately when you bend it, right? It's going to have a little bit of flex, but if it's brittle and old, that three-point bending moment can be a bit of an issue. So you want some level of pliability along the entire filament. But if you keep seeing snaps, that tells you that the filament is no good. Okay. So these were several examples of filament that we had that were doing auto feed problems failing mid print. And so generally what will happen is you'll get a section of the filament that behaves well and then there'll be a section that's more brittle that's leading to all these problems. So this entire spool was just a bad manufacturing batch. So as you pull it apart, you can see. You get some good sections, which is nice. And then you get some sections that will just immediately break. And so this is not enough filament for a proper print. But finding out this far into your print, which can be anywhere between 10% and 40%, is a little frustrating. So it's always good to check. But generally, if you find that your spool is just constantly slipping or loose, chances are there's a secondary break inside the spool where you get this slinky effect. And that tells you that generally everything in your spool is no good. So save yourself the trouble and just replace the spool with a set of filament that's going to hold together without that breaking.